Another game on the Nintendo Wii and the eighth game of this series, considering I haven't played the first three and went straight to number four. Hello everybody, Shockley to 1020 for duty and welcome to Mario Party 8. One of my all-time favorite Mario Party games. And I know you probably might be thinking along the lines of, right, okay. Why am I doing commentary in Mario Party 8 after when I specifically said that I was no longer going to be doing uh, commentary in my Let's Plays for the near future um, after finishing my Let's Play of Kirby's Adventure for the Nintendo Wii? The main reason why is because I actually completely forgot about the Mario Party series. So... I will be doing commentary in the Mario Party games and the Pokemon games, but I won't be doing commentary on anything else. But anyway, this should really be called Waluigi Party because, to be honest, we clean sweeped Mario Party 4, we clean sweeped Mario Party 5, we clean sweeped Mario Party 6, but Mario Party 7 we did lose one board. But with Donkey Kong, Bowser, Daisy, who nobody particularly likes, Boo, Wario, Toad, Luigi, Birdo, Peach, Yoshi, Dry Bones, Toadette, yeah, Waluigi's time, and making Mario leave. Making Mario leave. No, you're not Mario. Right, come on. Thank you. Let's get going. Oh, Mario, you have to show up on the screen again. Right, let's do my one and only profile. And don't worry, I have unlocked everything a long time ago. Thank you. Well, I mean, pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about what this guy said. This guy's called Big Top and Ballyhoo. Well, MC Ballyhoo with Big Top on top of him. We're going to go into the party tent and we're going to get started with our first board. And it's obviously going to be Battle Royale. One, one player versus three CPUs. Going to have Waluigi against basically all of these characters. I mean, here, you got Blooper and Hammerbro. Um, you don't really get to unlock them, technically, until you've done like, the Star Battle Arena. And believe me when I say this, you have to go through all of Star Battle Arena to unlock one of them, and then go through it a second time to unlock the other one. So basically put, you have to beat the story mode twice. Now, we're going to hit random, and our first three opponents are going to be... Toadette, Birdo, and Princess Peach. Obviously, as always, you can do it for a maximum of 50 turns, but no less than 10. I have always done it as a 30 turn party, and that's what we're sticking it to. All minigame sets, and we've also got the bonus stars. And, I'm going to be up in the ante on this. I have always done hard CPU. The hardest difficulty you can have in this game is very hard. That's the hardest difficulty you can put it on, and that's what we're doing. As we do, Donkey Kong's Treetop Temple. Oh, 
Hungry for water plants, deep rooted secrets, paths that branch off to danger. You will tangle with all of that and more in Donkey Kong Street of Temple. Do you want to hear a few secrets about the sport? May as well listen to it. Observe yonder star. Be the first to reach the star space to win with 20 coins to pocket the prize. The star space will then move to a new spot. Maybe closer to you or farther. Who can say? Now witness a legendary jungle contraption, the Donkey Kong Barrel Cannon. If you pay five coins, it will blast you across the board. Where exactly? Who knows? And anytime you find candy lying around, snatch it up. If you can't find some, that is. I say, if you can't find some, head to the nearest candy shop and load up on your sweet stuff. What's all the hubbub about candy? You can go for a piece at the start of your turn and mess with competitors and to change your fate. Let's see who goes first. Smack the nice block, punch with your Wii Remote, or just simply press the A button. Oh, you do have to. <laughs> Never mind! It's decided! Toadette is first! Waluigi is second! Birdo is third! Peach is fourth! Here's a gift to get you going. Make the most of these ten coins. On to the race to the star space! Where can it be? I'm crazy with anticipation! <laughs> Sparkly, so bright! The first star! Get there with 20 coins! Now let's get this party started! Let the games begin! <coughs> Okay, never do that voice again. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> God, that actually hurt. Ugh. Alright. Now, the main part about Mario Party 8 is that there's a lot of contraptions that should take note. Uh, going over the gimmick of this board, you've got... This happening space and this happening space. If anybody lands on that within these spaces, you have monkeys run, running on barrows, jumping on that lucky space, and chasing everybody down this ladder, down that ladder, and across the other way. It will affect everybody who is on that path. And speaking of lucky spaces, if you land on that, you get taken to a random spot on... Well, you don't take, get taken to a random spot on the board. You get taken to a secret area on this board that allows you to earn free coins and a free star. These happening spaces over here with the piranha plants. Every time you land on one of those happening spaces, you will lose 10 coins. Uh, the Donkey Kong cannons. They are random where they send you, but sometimes they could be as a fixated path. One could send you over here, the other could send you over here. This happening space, and also the happening space that's down there, will activate a spear guy that will steal candy from you, but he will give you coins in exchange for it. And by the way, that's the secret area in the back that I was telling you about. This happening space is a water rapid. You get to ride down the rapid all the way down that tree trunk straight to this space here. And you get to pick up coins along the way. It's not a mini game, you just get it by default. And the last thing I want to go over is Donkey Kong spaces. If you land on the Donkey Kong space on this board, DK will show up and throw you to wherever the star is. But. If you land on a DK space, it will change to a Bowser space. Land on that Bowser space, and he will move the star to another location. So consider it like Donkey Kong spaces are magic lamps, and Bowser spaces are the um, lucky lamps from Mario Party 3 that move the star space. That's everything I've got to say about this board, so let's get started by rolling a three. I have reverse psychology, I rolled a five. Oh, I can actually land on the DK space immediately. But the thing is, 
You do still need 20 coins for the star, so I'm going to be going this way. And while I'm actually doing this, um, I, I would have done like uh, this episode a little bit earlier on today. The only problem was, my batteries and my Wii remotes ran out, even though I changed them three weeks ago. So I had to go down to my um, superstore, that's not too far from where I live, and get myself some more batteries. And the batteries I had in the Wii remote, they were Duracell batteries, but I'm pretty sure they were the Duracell batteries that had 50% extra life. And I'm like thinking, okay, 50% extra life means you get to have it go on for a lot longer than you do. But having those batteries go on for three weeks, that's silly. So I went and got these Duracell batteries. The one that says 100% extra, uh, extra life. So we get to have these going a lot longer. Anyway, our first mini game here is Paint Misbehaving. I'll just mark it off on my Word document. And, yeah, in case you're wondering, you have to actually move your cursor over to the rules to read the rules. Work with your teammate to paint more Goombas. Your, say, wait. Work with your teammate to paint more Goombas your team color than your rivals. It's not over until it's over. Keep on shooting paint until the bitter end. You hold the Wii Remote sideways and you move with the D-pad left and right, not up and down. And you just press the 2 button to shoot. And yeah, uh, the Runaway guys when they did this, they actually were not a massive fan of this whole mechanic of doing that. They were not a massive fan of it. Me, I love this game. I know Proton John's not a massive fan of it with the whole control mechanics, but if you get around it, it's a fun game to play. It really is. It's actually the very first Mario Party game I ever got. I am not kidding. And in case you're wondering, in this game, there are always 11 Goombas. There's still a possible way that you can draw, but that's only if at least one Goomba has not been painted. Birdo! Get to your own side! Birdo! Get to your own side! I've got this side! Oh, by the way, you actually can mash the 2 button, but just be aware not to hit your own Goomba's color. Otherwise, you will... You will struggle. So there you go, 6 to 5. The reason why I'm playing this on very hard instead of regular hard is because I've been doing very hard CPU on this game for five years. I am, I am that experienced with the game. I know exactly what I'm doing with all the minigames. There, there are a couple of minigames I probably might never ever win. There is one in particular. And I am definitely going to be showing it. But all I can honestly say is... The games are really fun to play. Once you get used to the whole mechanic of... This game. Now anyway. Going over with like... Um, um, bonus stars. There are a lot... There's a bonus star for running, there's a bonus star for usage of candy, there's a bonus star for shopping, for mini games, for the green spaces, and there is also um, a red star. So the whole gist about this, the green star is for whoever lands on the most green spaces. Running star is whoever's traveled the most spaces. Oh yeah, you're gonna be hearing that a lot. Taunting in this game is based on motion control with the Wii Remote and there are two different taunts. 
Waluigi's was wah, and Waluigi's number one. And um, if I wasn't to be using Waluigi, I would have been using Wario because you hear the. Excuse me. <laughs> that's that's my funniest. That's my favorite taunt in this entire game. I will be going over the majority of them. And <laughs> good use of the cash tap candy, Peach. The cash tap candy basically forces your opponent to lose half of their coins. And I had zero coins. So, yeah, basically, as I was like saying, the bonus stars, the green star is whoever's landed on the most spaces. Running star is whoever traveled the most spaces. Shopping star is basically whoever's spent the most money in the shop. There's the standard minigame star. And there's the candy star, whoever's used the most candy. And the red star is basically whoever's landed on the most red stars. I said red spaces. Oh, chump rope. And I'm actually the one in this. Usually I'm the three. Right, there it is. Right at the bottom of the list for the 1v3s. Okay. One player swings a jump rope for 15 seconds, trying to trip up the three jumpers. Controlling the rope? Change up your swing speed. Trying to survive? Pay attention to the speed. Just lasso for me, but if I was in the three, I have to move the Wii remote up to jump. And yes, these demonstrations of the mechanics are kind of questionable. Believe me. Go set speed! Peach is gone. Toadette has gone. Birdo has gone. Nice! I mean, if you try doing that minigame where Emil is the one player, he can do that so good. Because he swings it so fast, it is hard to judge. Um, when to actually do the jump. Now, obviously, I am closest to the star, but because I spent a thrice candy for 20 coins... I'm not going to be able to get it. And I will try my hardest to go over every single candy. Slow go candy. Lets you hit a slower dice block. That lets you move only one to five spaces. Only problem is. You probably might be thinking. It's actually really slow. It's not as slow as you think. Thrice candy is just basically. You get to roll three dice. I might as well use this. Just to get an early running on the running star. Six, ten, and two. Okay, eighteen. Not too shabby. It's about average. <laughs> I love Valley, who's um, voice goes, go, no, and ha oh, ha oh, oh! <laughs> Something is really good. Now, I think the candy I picked up was known as the Weagly candy. I'm not going to buy anything. Let's see. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, there we go. Blue space. I think I got the Weagly candy. The Weagly candy is basically um, a candy stealing candy. Okay, Birdo's got the first star. That's okay. What it does is you get to roll a dice of one to ten. And if, any, if you pass any of your rivals and they have a candy, you get to steal it from them. And you probably might be thinking there are actually three mini versions of yourself when doing this. And you'd be thinking, does it steal more than one candy from one person? So like, say, for example, if somebody used a weekly candy on me, would they get to steal both of my candies? The answer is no. 
The Wiggly Candy only steals one candy per opponent. And since there are three opponents, and you pass all three, you get to steal one from Toadette, one from Birdo, and one from Peach. That's why there are three of you when you use the Wiggly Candy. But the Runaway guys, when they saw the Wiggly Candy, they thought it was one to steal, two to stun to allow you to get away. Bob arms away.